You know we're facing unprecedented times right now, such as never been before in human history. The whole world has shut down. People are hurting. People are asking questions. Is this the end of the world? Well, no. But it is a precursor to things to come. People are asking, where is God in all this? Well, the answer's easy. Right where we left him, on the outside of our world. So how did we get to this place of chaos? We took God out of our schools. Well, guess what? Our schools have shut down. We took God out of our places of work. Guess what? Our places of work have shut down. We excluded God from our social life. Guess what? Our restaurants, clubs, sports arenas, and our most favorite activity, frivolous shopping, have all been shut down. We took God out of our governments. Guess what? Our governments are confused and don't know what to do or how to govern in this present crisis. We've even excluded God from our families. Guess what? It feels like we should indoors with someone we don't want to be with and away from the people we really want to be with. Instead of putting our trust in God, we put our trust in ourselves. But we're failing. We put our trust in governments, but they're failing. We put our trust in doctors, God bless them, but they're overwhelmed and failing too. So where is God? Right where we put him, outside of our lives. Oh, but what about the church? While well, we fail to reach the world, and we shut ourselves in the four walls of the church, and preached to ourselves once or twice a week, and never saw or interacted with our church family or the world for the rest of the week. Guess what? Now there's no going to church. But wait. There is light at the end of the tunnel. God is still there, waiting to be invited back into our lives. Not just at Christmas, Easter, or even once a week at church, but into our daily lives, our homes, our schools, our workplaces, our social lives, our governments, our hospitals, our world. This is not about religion. It's personal to you and starts with inviting God into your world by putting your personal well-being in his hands. Every day, in every area of your life, and just trust in him to be God for you. Let's just admit it, we missed it, and we need him. Pick up that good book today, the Bible, and read something. Maybe you could start with this, John 14, verse 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Then, just talk to him. He'll listen. He's really good like that. God bless you. And may his peace be with you.